I feel that art's terribly important to human beings. I think that uh, it's one of the most fundamental ways of understanding the world in which one lives. And uh, people in the country have just as much need for this understanding as uh, people in any other part of uh, the world. Uh, having had some exposure to this need, I felt that I could do something about it. And the only way that one could move from one part to another in Queensland uh, because, of course, with light aircraft. So you've got to realise that what you do have in your paint box is colour. And you have a palette and brushes, and you can mix any colour you want to mix. And you can put it anywhere you want to put it, and you can make it any shape you want to make it, and any tone you want to make it. And so you really have to learn to see in terms of the, the thing you are using to make your painting, which is colour and shape and position and qualities of line and so on. Uh, you've got to look at the subject in those terms and understand it in those terms. Uh, the thing that I find most uh, successful about this one, the last one I saw of yours, which was this one, um, I was very impressed by the fact that you'd come to terms with the whole area as your subject, rather than just your face in some sort of negative background. You'd come to terms with the colour and the uh, shapes that were existing there in that area, and you saw the relationship between what was happening in the background and what's happening with yourself. It's a very difficult thing to do, isn't it? That look at what's there in the mirror and make something out of it as a painting. It sure is. Yeah. But I think in both cases, this. Women in the country are often very sensitive people who want to fulfill themselves in some way, and being deprived of this because of their, their geographic position, art uh, and uh, the, the pottery and uh, other things that we've brought have enabled individual women in the country to find a way of fulfilling themselves intellectually, and they, can, they then don't feel that they play a subservient role in the community, uh, they can fulfil a role even if it's 
only appreciated by a small number of people in that community, and certainly they can fulfil themselves. How are we going? Oh, yes, that's... Yes, that's, that's what it's about. Yes, that's really seeing it in terms of areas of colour. And, and you've also got the, there's a lovely sense of the music of the landscape here too, with all these pieces of colour. That's, that's beautifully realised. Yeah, keep going. Keep Tremendous. Right, this is called ram's head kneading. And you can see why you get this ram's head effect. Now you're just working with the side of the clay here and you're tucking it down and around on itself. And what happens is that all the flat clay particles get pushed tighter and tighter. You've probably all kneaded clay if you've made bread. But this is a... You're doing the opposite to your clay here, to what you do when you make bread. When you make bread, you're trying to make it nice and light and airy. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do here is keep it compressed and not let any air in at all. On the clay at about 7 o'clock. And you're just going to push with this part of the hand. Now, the trick is to keep your hands around the outside. Don't let them get over the top. Keep them around the outside. You bring the clay up on end, and it's a movement with the wrist. You push down and away, like that, so that your clay becomes much more plastic and workable. And you do it until you're exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> But there's sometimes a lack of that sort of honest vision or real uh, perception. I think the thing that's made this such a rewarding stuff is the uh, honesty of vision. There's some lovely